Hi everybody, Matthew from Disaster Area Designs here, um, demonstrating today the version 2.0 upgrade to the DMC6 and DMC6L MIDI controller pedals. The DMC6 is our largest MIDI only controller. It's got six foot switches and six LEDs. They come standard with an expression pedal input. Um, they're available with an additional tap tempo input or an optional side roller. The side roller is great if you've got limited pedal board space but still want expression control. The new features include multi-device control and the ability to save and recall your own combined presets. So let's talk about multi-device control first. We've got the Strymon Timeline and Mobius connected via MIDI to the DMC6L and we've also connected a Line 6 M5. The Timeline is set to MIDI Channel 1. The Mobius is set to MIDI channel 2. You can set the MIDI channels in their global menus. And the Line 6 M5 is set to MIDI channel 3. When we press a foot switch on the DMC6, you can see that we engage a patch 00A and 00A on the timeline of Mobius, respectively. And we've engaged preset 2 on the M5. When we press the currently engaged preset, we bypass both the Strymon devices and we send program 1 to the M5. The M5 has a per preset bypass setting so that if you don't want M5 on a particular patch you can simply bypass that particular preset and it won't be on. So um, you can see we can step through all of our presets here one by one on Timeline, Mobius, and M5 all at the same time. This is the red preset bank. The green preset bank has five more patches. You can enable two more preset banks, which are blue and orange, for a grand total of 20 presets. Again, pressing the currently selected preset will bypass all the selected devices and send a program change one to the M5, which we have in a bypass state. If you don't like the presets as they are arranged on your devices, you can map them any way you want. If you press and hold the upper right button, we enter the white mode, which is the program scrolling and we can scroll through timeline and Mobius patches until we get what we want. Okay, that sounds good. So, let's save that. What we do is exit the white mode by tapping the upper right and we're going to save this in red one. So we just press and hold red one until the blue light blinks. And then every time we engage that preset, you can see that it calls up the preset that we previously saved. In addition, it's also going to bring up the 63 spring model on the M5. If you don't want the 63 spring model, you can change this to any other model you want, such as the Hall Reverb model. Got the delay tails on there. And when you come back to it, you can see that the hall will be saved. Uh, there's a few other options on the M5 that require you to save a preset manually, but if you leave it in the set and forget mode, then you can just edit the presets on the fly like this. So, um, Again, 20 available presets. You can set them any way you want. And we also have looper mode. So this is a little bit difficult to do by hand, but I'll give it my best shot. So we have record, overdub, play and stop. Undo and redo. Half speed and reverse. So we have full loop of control. In addition, we also have pre-post, 
switching, which is available with press and hold on the undo redo button. So there you have it. Um, that's the looper mode. There's a couple other nice tricks this can do. Uh, we can use the expression pedal input to send expression to any or all of these connected devices at the same time, and that is available per preset. So on the Mobius, or on the timeline, or on the M5. We can also send tap tempo to all these devices uh, using the same input. It's available as a startup mode option on the DMC6. So, there you have it. Uh, we have multi-device control, the ability to map and set your own presets up to 20, and full looper control. All those modes can be enabled or disabled as you choose, so you can tailor the controller to work best with your rig and your playing style. The new update is available as a free download from our website, disasterareaamps.com, and it's also installed by default on all new DMC6 and DMC6L pedals. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments or email us through our website. Thanks for watching.